Hello students, welcome to I Exam B. I am Vidika, and today I am going to tell you about CLAT UG 2021. This year the exam is on 13th June. The minimum qualification is 10 plus 2 or equivalent examination. You can fill the application form online from Jan 1 to March 31. The deadline is coming soon, so hurry up and fill the application form. Let us discuss the question paper format. There will be 150 multiple choice questions of one mark each. Divided into five sections. These sections are English language, current affairs including GK, legal reasoning, logical reasoning, and quantitative techniques. The duration of the exam is two hours. The exam is in offline mode, that is pen paper mode. There is negative marking of 0.25 mark for each wrong answer. What kind of questions will appear in each section? We will discuss that in detail in the upcoming slides. The most important thing to notice here is that all questions will be comprehension based. This comprehension based pattern was introduced in 2020. Moving on, the first section is English language, which holds a weightage of 20%. There will be five to six passages of 300 to 400 words, and four or five questions based on each passage. What kind of questions these will be? From our analysis of previous year question pattern, mostly the questions were from these areas. There were synonyms and antonyms asked. There were questions based on the passage. what was the central idea of the passage what the passage inferred or implied what was the figure of speech used by the author in the passage you have been attempting reading comprehension in english language in your school from a very long time therefore you need to understand that this list is not exhaustive and you need to be prepared with all kind of questions in comprehension pattern the second section in the exam is current affairs including gk which holds a weightage of 25% There will be seven to eight passages and four or five questions based on each passage. How recent these current affairs would be? From our analysis, mostly the passages were from recent news, which were five to six months old. The questions were from static GK current affairs. There were fill in the blanks in the passage, which you have to fill based on your current affair knowledge. All these questions revolve around the central theme of the passage. The third section in the exam is legal reasoning. Which holds a weightage of 25 percent. Again, there will be seven to eight passages and four or five questions based on those passages. The difference here is that all these passages will be law related. Now, the first question that comes to mind is: Do we need to have prior legal knowledge? The answer to that is no. All you need to have is general awareness and legal aptitude. You need to identify principles and rules set out in the passage. Then you have then you have to apply those rules and principles to facts and situation based questions. Also, you need to analyze how slight change in rule or those principle could alter their application. The fourth section in the exam is logical reasoning. There will be short passages and critical reasoning kind of questions. Other areas include puzzles, blood relations, coding, decoding. What these critical reasoning questions consist of? What was the main idea of the passage? What weakens or strengthens the argument of author? What were the benefits of any topic in the passage? Assumptions made by the author. Inference of the passage. What could be the plausible explanation of any statement used by the author in the passage? The fifth section of the exam is quantitative techniques, which hold a weightage of 10%. The areas covered were data interpretation, bar graph, pie chart, mensuration, area, volume, other mathematical concepts, percentage, average, ratio, and proportion. The idea behind this section is to judge your mathematical knowledge. Therefore, this list is not exhaustive, and you need to be prepared with all kind of mathematical based questions. Many questions come to mind right now. What to do? Where to start? How to start? My first advice to you is read newspaper on a daily basis. This will help you in your daily GK. This will help you improve your reading speed, your comprehending ability, your analytical thinking, your critical thinking, and all these are the skills you need to work on for this exam. Another question that comes to mind is where to study law-related news from, or do we need to study law-related news? You need to understand that you should be aware with the legal jargons, legal language, so that you are able to comprehend the legal passages at a faster pace. For law, for that, read legal articles from newspaper, from websites like the Wire. dot in, SCC Online. dot com, Legal Service India. dot com. The most important thing for this exam is to practice, 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 practice a lot of questions, practice comprehension based questions. One thing you can do is whenever you read any article in a newspaper or in any website, pause for some time. 
think what the author wanted to infer through that passage. Think what was the central idea of the passage. And in this way, you will be able to improve. You will be able to work on your critical thinking, your analytical ability. If you have still not started your preparation and are wondering where and how to begin, I Examby has come to your rescue. We have the most experienced faculty. We provide you with up-to-date study material in tune to the latest CLAT pattern. We provide you with practice tests, comprehension-based practice tests. There are live sessions, doubt sessions, all to help you in your preparation. Also note that all IXMB mock tests are free. Therefore, go to iExamB.com, attempt to mock test, analyze your performance, and then start your preparation. I would like to end here with a quote. You were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. This is where iExamB wants to pitch in. We will mentor you, guide you, motivate you, and help you prepare for CLAT UG 2021. For instant notifications, subscribe to our exam channel, click the bell icon. Thank you. All the best for your preparation.